Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Please read the statement, uh, Ms. Ms. Kirkman. <coughs> this is a meeting of the Township of Vernon for uh, June 23rd, 2014. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public and the press and on January 8th, 2014 and was posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 7. Please call the roll. Council Member Kadish. Here. Council Member Murphy. Here. Council Member Rizzuto? Here. Council Member Wetzel? Here. Council President Lynch? Here. Please join me with a salute to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Can I have a motion to open the floor to public comments? So moved. Motion made by Councilmember Kadish. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Councilmember Rizzuto. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The floor is open to the public. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Krista Gary. Krista spelled C H R I S T A. Can't hear you. Uh, Did you hear my name? Okay, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it would be prudent if other members of the town council would pay more attention to the questions and ideas presented by Jean Murphy and Dan Kadish with regard to the purchase of the uh, Camp Sussex. Uh, Dan Kadish has been on town councils lo longer than anyone else who is presently serving, and he's a brilliant and knowledgeable man. Jean Murphy is very smart, has been in real estate for many years, and knows more on this subject than anyone else on the council. Both Dan Kadish and Jean Murphy are leaders and not blind followers, and they definitely know what they're talking about. They research the issues thoroughly. I think they should be shown some more common courtesy when they speak. I think a questioning mind is an intelligent mind. And thank you very much. Anyone else like to speak? Good evening, Doreen Edwards, Highland Lakes. Um, last meeting I attended of the town council, uh, it was asked of one of the town council members if anybody would buy a piece of property would have an, without having an inspection. And in, it wasn't open to the public at the time, at least not that I knew of, so I didn't say anything. So I want to say something now. Um, it's all in order of a process. First you come to some negotiation with a buyer and seller and a contract and then there's subject twos. Then you get into the meat of the matter. So I wanted to say that. Um, secondly, um, when the ta this town council first took office, I remembered that there were people down here, you know, asking, no, I'll, I'll redact, I'll say screaming and pounding on the podium saying, we have a bad drug problem in this town. What are we going to do about it? What are you people going to do about it? Well, now that it's presented that we want to do something about it, that uh, same person who's on this petition, as I understand it, if the paper's correctly, is saying perhaps it's not a good idea. You have to start somewhere, okay? And I just want to say, let's be logical about this. Let's not be the Hatfields and the McCoys. Let's work together as a community and see what we could do. That's a beautiful piece of property. I think it would be a big benefit to the town. If we can make it happen and it's agreeable and priced and everything else, let's do it. Let's stop all this nonsense. I'm sorry. And just for the record, I am on the Environmental Commission, um, but that has nothing to do with how I feel personally about the issue as well. Both ways I feel it's a good, I think it would be a good thing for the town. Thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to speak? Gary Martinson, you're probably going to say something later, but uh, I don't think there's another meeting before the 4th of, actually it'll be the 5th of July, they're going to have the fireworks. Uh, 
the years I've gone, it's always been fantastic. It's for a great cause, and I would recommend highly to everybody to go. Anyone else wish to speak? Good evening, Teresa Vitti, Glenwood. Um, I just want to start off by saying I think that personally for the area where Camp Sussex is, obviously I'm talking about that, um, it would be awesome to have an American chestnut forest there. And the way that the Environmental Commission has their vision, I think would be such an asset to Vernon just in itself, to have a place like that for the residents and children to go and do something positive. Now on the other hand, over the weekend, I saw people sitting outside the AMP at a table with a sign saying, you know, no, that they're starting another petition. It pains me greatly to see that there's such a small fraction of people in this town who seriously cannot see good in anything or would like anything good to come to this township, that they constantly have to be on the, adver you know, on the adverse side of things. And I honestly feel that it's a waste of time for them to put this to a petition. I can tell you that just the talk around town has been nothing but positive and um, energetic about this prospect of revitalizing Camp Sussex. So I hope that their efforts are thwarted and they come to their senses and understand that this really is, like Ms. Edward said, a process. There are certain things that have to be done first before anything else can go <coughs> forward. And I'm sorry, but negotiating a contract really is a step in that right direction. That is the first step that we have to take as a township and you guys as a council and our mayor. You have to, you know, agree on um, you know, a, a certain price of what you're willing to pay or what we can afford to pay and then, you know, go from there with inspections and things like that. That's always been my understanding of the process of buying a piece of real estate. So I'm totally, you know, with you guys on this. I'm for it and I know that a majority of the people in the town are as well. So keep it going. Anyone else wish to speak? My name's Art Alvini, I live in Vernon. I think it's a good idea to buy Camp Sussex, but on a second note, it's been for sale for years. Are we gonna pay a lot of money for this or should we get it on the cheap? That's all I have to say, we shouldn't pay a lot for it. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Please turn off all cell phones. At least silence them at least. Anyone else wish to speak? Seeing that there are no other members of the public wishing to come forward, may I have a motion to close? Move. Motion made by Councilmember Rizzuto. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Councilmember Kadish. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Mayor's report. Acting Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Acting Acting Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. What I'd like to do is just bring you up to date on some of the capital projects that you've approved, just to, so that you know where we are. On Ordinance 14-2, which was $20,000 for the e-tickets, uh, eight e-ticket machines have been installed in the police cars and they are up and running. Uh, we, are, we have received the envelope mailer stuffer uh, for the tax collector and assessor that's in and up and running. Uh, we are uh, looking at Road improvements right now, the DPW, you approved 200,000 in ordinance 14-7, and the DPW is out every day patching those streets with that funds. Uh, you approved $25,000 for fleet maintenance software. We have two vendors at the next council meeting. We will be preparing and giving you one of those. It looks like it's gonna come under budget and that's uh, software that the DPW can use to keep track of their maintenance and their equipment. Uh, you approve $15,000 for a GPS system, which would go in all of DPW 
cars and the other uh, vehicles that we have in town so we know where they are, uh, be able to keep track of them, do a better job in trying to respond during snow season. Uh, we have two vendors. We will be recommending one of them uh, fairly soon. Uh, the one that's the most exciting, uh, that we have put a credit card scanner in the municipal uh, court room. And anyone who is, has to pay fines now can go in and scan in their credit card. That's up and running. It is working. And we've run some tests on that, and it's working very well. The um, uh, tax map, which is on your agenda for tonight, we have done phase one of it, which is where the helicopter goes out and photographs the town, which is part of the digital map. That's completed at this point, and we're ready to move forward to the next phase in that. That's my report. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Regular meeting minutes of May 29, 2014. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? For May 29, 2014, regular meeting. Motion. Oh, oh, go ahead. Motion made by Council Member Murphy. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Kadish. All all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, aye. The uh, consent agenda for this evening. <clears throat> First one is uh, resolution 1490, chapter 159 resolution requesting approval of revenue and appropriation amending the 2014 budget as a revenue and appropriation of $46,210. The township has, has received a clean communities grant from the state of New Jersey. This authorizes the insertion of this special item into the revenue, of revenue into the budget and corresponding appropriation for grant monies. Resolution 1491, Chapter 159, Resolution Requesting Approval of Revenue and appropriating, Appropriation Amending the 2014 Budget as a Revenue and Appropriation of $4,092.24. The township has also received a grant from the United States Department of Justice for the purchase of bulletproof vests. This resolution authorizes the insertion of this special item of revenue into the budget and corresponding appropriation for the grant monies. <coughs> Excuse me. Resolution 1492. It's a resolution authorizing the fireworks to be displayed on July 5th, 2014 within the township of Vernon. Pursuant to NJSA 21 uh, 3-1 at sequential, the municipality must authorize the display of fireworks within the township. This resolution authorizes Tall Timbers Property Owners Association to have fireworks display on July 5th, 2014. Resolution 1493, authorization, author, authorizing professional services contract with Vital Communications, Inc., in the amount not to exceed $15,600. The Township Tax Department's both collector and assessor utilize the computer software and services provided through Vital Communications for tax assessment and billing. This resolution authorizes the renewal of the contract for Vital Communications for an additional year. Resolution 1494. Resolution authorizing the application to the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic and Safety for a seatbelt enforcement program, 2014, drive sober, sober or get pulled over, the statewide Labor Day crackdown. This resolution authorizes the township to apply for a drive sober or get pulled over grant funds. The township police department will utilize these funds for drunk driving enforcement for the time period of August 15th through September 1st. The initial expense to the township will be $5,000, but that will, will then be completely reimbursed through the grant. Resolution 1495, authorizing of maintenance service contract with Specialty Underwriters LLC in the amount not to exceed $3,105. The township owns a large scale copier, shredder, and platter that are no longer covered by the manufacturer's warranty. This resolution authorizes the renewal of a maintenance contract in the event that any of these pieces of equipment stops functioning and mitigates the cost of repairs for these items. 
Resolution 1496 is authorizing a volunteer fire department junior membership. This resolution authorizes a junior membership of Carrie Ellen Goritsky to the McAfee Fire Department. And Resolution 1497, authorizing volunteer fire department transfer of membership. This resolution authorizes the transfer for membership for Robert Sherhall from the McAfee Fire Department to the Vernon Fire Department. I think that that may be mistaken. I think, I think that's from Vernon to McAfee. Okay, so that would be from the Vernon Fire Department to the McAfee Fire Department. Yes. Okay, can I have a motion on the resolutions? Oh. Motion made by Council Member Kadish. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Rizzuto. Please call the roll. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Rizzuto? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Lynch? Yes, on all resolutions except for 1496 and 1497, which I must abstain. Okay, introduction, the first reading of a proposed ordinance, ordinance 1413. Refunding bond ordinance authorizing the issuance of a $5,600,000 refunding bonds of the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex, New Jersey. In 2006, the township had issued a bond which is now eligible for refunding. This ordinance authorized the township to refund the bond at a substantial savings to the township. The state requires that before a municipality may refund a bond, that they must have at least 3% over the, they must save at least 3% over the life of the bond. At this point, the savings to the township appears to be closer to 5%. As you may recall, the township held a meeting on June 16th regarding this matter. It actually, is a, it was a work session. Mr. Zuckerman or Ms. Yetta, do you have any other comments? Uh, Mr. President, uh, this bond uh, refunding will save the uh, township approximately $295,000 in interest over seven years. The interest rate is such now that it is a very good time to do this will save approximately 42000 next year's budget and out for the next seven years at virtually no cost to the town. The cost will be Elka's time, my time, the so clerk's time in advertising it, but there's no out-of-pocket cost to make this happen. From the in town. a week we've saved 13000 more? Pardon? In one week we saved 13000 more? Oh, it's about 200. So by the time we go through it, it we're going to save a lot of money, Dave. If, uh, Dan, <laughs> if we wait, we'll have the whole thing paid off. But it's uh, it's something that, at this time, with the interest rates, it's something that we should be uh, proposing to you, and that it should move forward. We have a motion. So moved. To <laughs> <laughs> motion made by Council Member Rizzuto. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Kadish. Any questions from the council? Please call the roll. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Rizzuto? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Lynch? Yes. Motion carries for introduction of ordinance 14-13 with a public hearing on July 14, <coughs> 2014. The only, qu the only comment I have is that I would feel much better if there was a hyphen between the RE and the F, because otherwise refunding means you're getting all the money back. They call it that. I um, know. Yeah. It would be nice if it was coming back. If you get your own money back. Yeah, you get your own money back. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if we could do that, yeah. but uh, I don't think that would work well. Work no. I, love, I love the uh, the word state aid when yeah. it's your money that went your there money. to begin with. You know. There's no aid there at all. Uh. Okay, public hearing, the second reading of ordinances. This is the ordinance 1411, an ordinance authorizing a special emergency appropriation of $200,000 for the preparation of tax maps by the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex. Last year, Vernon began the process of digitizing our tax maps. 
The state of New Jersey has deemed the creation of a tax map as a, uh, as a special emergency and allows five years to pay for the expense through the budget. This ordinance appropriates $200,000 for the creation of the digitized tax maps and was introduced at the June 9th, 2014 meeting with a public hearing to be held this evening. We have a motion to open to the public hearing for Ordinance 1411. Motion made by Council Member Kadish. Uh, Wetzel, can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Murphy. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, can anyone like to speak? No, you can come up here. I'm Bonnie Rubin, Highland Lakes. I just have a question. Why is it an emergency appropriation? We didn't deem it an emergency. The state did. Oh, the state did. Okay. All right. So we could spread the payments out. Okay. Spread the payments out? Okay. I don't know their reasoning, but... Their infinite wisdom. Uh, seeing that there are no more members of the public wishing to come forward, may I have a motion to close the me uh, the uh, ordinance hearing to public comment? No move. Motion made by Council Member uh, Rizzuto. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Kadish. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 May I, I have a motion to adopt the public hearing, uh, uh, the, the ordinance 1411, I'm sorry. Oh. Motion made by Council Member Kadish. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Wetzel. Please call the roll. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Rizzuto? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council, Council President Lynch? Yes. Ordinance 1412. Well done there? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can finish your meeting and then we'll do this meeting. Well, I'm not voting so. on anything. <laughs> so I was just... <laughs> Ordinance 1412. The bond ordinance appro appropriating $2,350,000 in authorizing the issuance of a $2,066,000 bonds or notes of the township for various improvements or purposes authorized to be undertaken by the township of Vernon in the county of Sussex, New Jersey. At the May 29, 2014 town township council meeting, the council discussed the various projects and items that would require funding for the upcoming year. This ordinance allows the appropriation and financing of $2,066,000 for the purchase and expenditure of these various projects and items. This ordinance was introduced at the June 9th meeting, 2014 meeting, with a public hearing to be held this evening. May I have a motion to open the floor to the public hearing on this ordinance? Oh. Motion made by Council Member Kadish. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Wetzel. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the floor is open. Public comment. Seeing that there are no members of the public coming forward to speak, may I have a motion to close the oh. motion made by Council Member Kadish? Can I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Wetzel. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. May I have a roll call on this uh, motion to adopt Ordinance uh, 1412? I have a motion and a second. Can I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 1412? Make that motion. Okay. Motion made by Council Member Wetzel. Can I have a second, please? Second. Second by Council Member Murphy. Any discussion on the council on this? Please call the roll. Council Member Kadish? Yes. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Rizzuto? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yeah, with the interest rates as low as they are now. Uh, yes. Council President Lynch? Yes. Motion carries to adopt ordinance. <coughs> Council comments? Uh, Council Member Wetzel? Council Member Rizzuto? 
Yes. <clears throat> Each year we have a celebration of our independence. Doing so, we have it with the Big Bang. Uh, this year's Big Bang will take place uh, July 5th, Saturday, sponsored by the Highland Lakes and the Vernon Fire Department. It's mentioned by Mr. Martinson. It's at 8.30 p.m. at the Lounsbury Hollow Middle School. And the tickets are available at the gate. Now, as was mentioned, this is a great, uh, great affair. And it's an event that the both fire departments come together and work together to put on this display. It costs quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, I never really realized how much until I began to count the number of shells. That if you begin to enumerate the uh, the inventory of shells that are going to be detonated, it's extensive. So it costs quite a bit of money and the insurance and everything. And I would ask that the public, you know, support both of these fire departments by buying their tickets at the gate and not sitting in the cheap seats uh, so that they can look at the aerial displays only for free. Uh, our guys do a great job. You can count on them all the time. And this event is probably one of their sing single biggest fundraisers, if not their biggest fundraiser. And, you know, you can't put it under a dome. You can't hide it. So let's all come together and try and be there. Unfortunately, I'll be honest, I can't be there. I'm going to be in another area I have commitments so I, I wish them well uh, I, I would hope that the community uh, avails themselves of this great opportunity to see a nice aerial display thank you are you going to high point to watch the fireworks from there <laughs> no I'm going to go to <laughs> North Hero Vermont okay. <laughs> thank you Pat Councilmember Kadish no comment Councilmember Murphy? I um, would like to know if, uh, if Mr. Kelly would like to address Resolution 1402, or would you like me to? About the, um, I'm sorry, Resolution 1402, that there was a, uh, some incorrect information that had gone out on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let the council <laughs> member speak. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I don't to, know if you can hear me. I'm, you want me to introduce it? I, I, uh, whatever the procedure would be. Well, we want to talk about it. We want to talk about it. So whatever the procedure would be, because it's something that that uh, was addressed at a work session, and it's just been a little, there's been a little um, confusion as to work sessions, council meetings and it's just business being conducted in general well let me t if you don't mind take a <laughs> shot at at this um resolution 1402 is um or was a resolution that the council adopted at the reorganization meeting on uh, january the second first what first Really? Yeah. Okay. I see. Yes, okay. That resolution is the resolution that um, a township is required to adopt at the beginning, uh, in, within the first seven days of the year that sets forth its uh, meeting schedule for the entire year. Our resolution 1402 um, divides the uh, what we call meeting dates and those are the, the, the ones meetings that we're doing now and it has a second category of work session dates uh, which we do. And it goes on to say, you know, it's required by law, 
whether any action uh, at these meetings could be taken. Apparently, there were two versions of uh, Resolution 1402. One contained the words, uh, I have it right here. One version contained the words, quote, formal action may be taken at any regular council meeting or work session, end quote. The other version did not contain that language. In all other respects, the, the uh, resolutions are the same. Um, what we were able to find out, because Lauren uh, very capably went back and did research on the subject, the, both versions were sent to the New Jersey Herald. This is where I got January 2nd. On January 2nd, uh, one was sent at 110. That was the version that did not refer to formal action. Uh, it was followed 11 minutes later with the version that I read that said formal action could be taken at work sessions. Now, uh, the one that contained uh, the resolution uh, that contained the formal action uh, statement was the one that was uh, published in the Herald. It's the one I understand that is consistent with the minutes, and it is the one that we've been uh, uh, working by pursuant to the statute for the entire year. And, and, and what it does in practical effect, to, to maybe get to the point, is when we have work sessions, we are able to take formal action at work sessions with that language um, that we have. So, is that, did I do all right with that? I'd like to add something. Sure. Right. The, the resolution that we voted on said formal action may be taken at any regular council meeting. The one that got published added the words, or work sessions. That's the version we did not vote on. So the one that got published was not the one, was not the version we voted on. It actually did get into the minutes that way. That's why there were two different resolutions sent to the Herald. So that's, so where the words work session being added, I just don't recall, I could not find where that was added other than the second email that went to the Herald. So I would, I would say that what we voted on on January 1st, 1st should be the one without work sessions. That's the one we should be using. Okay. And if anybody knows why, does anybody have any idea why those words were added? I, I can say that I don't. Um, we know that uh, Sue Nelson was the clerk who did the matter. I checked my, you know, I keep notes of minutes and I didn't find anything in my notes one way or the other. I have the amended version and I don't see anything. Amended meeting with the words or with? Without, without it. Words. Correct. That's the one we voted on. That amended one was on the day the, on January 1st. The only thing that we added that day was to change the January 6th work session to 630. And that was the first version that was sent to the Herald had that refle reflected that change of 630 on January 6th. The second version added those three words or work session. So all I'm asking is why, if anybody had any idea, why something we didn't vote on actually got amended after the vote. And if, and if not, I mean, it should, it, should amend, it should go back to what we voted on. In order to avoid any confusion, why don't we make, reaffirm what we intended, which is to be able to vote on the matter at a work session. <coughs> uh, the, the statute that we're talking about um, for everyone's benefit up here um, contains the following sentence uh, about that, Pat. It says, in the event that such schedule is thereafter revised, the public body within seven days following such revision shall post, mail, and submit such revision in the manner described above. So we can do it again. We have to file it again. That's all the law requires. And do it again in any version. Okay. I, I understand Mr. Uh, Councilman Rizzuto's request about being able to vote at any work session, but if we are, then I'm requesting that Mr. Kelly be at all of our work sessions, if that's the case. Ooh. Well, there is a real, a work session is a work session. I get for that. The amended 
1402 resolution that we voted on did not contain the words or work session. They were added at a later date. That's what was published, but that does not mean that's what we voted on. That's not where, what we were doing, and I do not agree that we should be, just be taking on where we're voting at, a, at any work session. But if we are, if that's what most of the council would like to do, then I'm requesting that Mr. Kelly be present at all of our work sessions. They're work sessions, they're not council meetings. Right, right. As a matter of fact, It's easy I, enough, actually, we could do that. We could have a resolution drawn up for the next meeting that will include the words work session, and council, uh, council but, will be at, uh, in attendance. It, it will be noted that he will be in attendance in any work session that action may be taken. Right, so basically what we're doing is returning work sessions into council meetings. No, nope, we're gonna well, keep so work sessions work. as they are. No, nope, and, and There's a major problem. First I'm just still coming. Hmm? There's a major just ask for council to come, so oh, if he comes, that, then it's that's, okay. That's fine. But I, all I'm saying now is, is it, it actually what it does is it, it makes the, council, the the work sessions council meetings. I attended the MUA meeting the other day, and John Erson made it very clear that the MUA, the commissioners, do not vote on anything unless it's on the agenda. And that's not, you know, that's not always what we've we been were doing with the council. Um, in, in, in most cases. When we have a work session, we have to have a consensus to move forward. Yeah. We can't wait uh, two and three and four weeks for a a consensus. Uh, is I, just let me from finish my point. Um, if we, I agree with what you're saying is that uh, if we do have a meeting, uh, it's a meeting, and if we have a work session, it's a work session. But usually, the work sessions are pinpointed to one subject and one specific thing, and uh, they've always seemed to work well in Vernon to get the job done, and I didn't see anything done either uh, untoward or illegal that was being taken care of. If, if the words that of work session need to be included into a resolution, that is, uh, your point is well taken. Well, I'm, I'll be actually trying to find out why those words were added, because that's very troubling to know that something was changed after we voted on. Okay. Do you have anything else? No. Okay. I, uh, I, uh, go ahead, Dave. I think you, that, that using a, uh, you, taking action during a work session is inappropriate from the point of view that the public often doesn't come to work sessions and it really denies them full transparency on whatever is taking place. Uh, the issue that came to the forefront that brought this on was not that big of an issue, but I think we need to keep work sessions as work sessions. Uh, there are times when a work session is necessary to possibly have action, then it requires a special notice that work that action will be taken during this work session. I believe that statement was made. Action may be taken. No, I don't think it was in the ad, was it? It certainly was. It was, it it was Lauren, was it in the ad? It was in the ad, but it was not. Yeah. For the last it meeting? It was also displayed on the it's front not, door. No, of the it was not on our agenda. But it wasn't on the agenda, was it? No, it was not on our agenda. The point is, the resolution was changed without council, a council vote in January. That's, what's, that's where it's stemming from, and that's wrong. Anything else? Okay. Um, the issue in town right now <laughs> is uh, the idea that the township may be in the process of purchasing Camp Sussex. The township does not have an ordinance to, for the purchase of Camp Sussex. The township doesn't have any other information in the purchase of Camp Sussex currently. The council gave direction to the mayor to enter into negotiations for the purchase of Camp Sussex, not to make a purchase of Camp Sussex. The council has not voted on whether we were going to, whether we are going to be purchasing the Camp Sussex. I think it would be in the best interest of Vernon Township 
to wait for the information that the council asked the mayor to uh, obtain before any decision either way is made. Because the purchase of Camp Sussex has been something that has been in the open space uh, program in Vernon Township for quite some time. Long before any of us, except for Dan, because he was on before, and he was uh, uh, fortunate enough to be involved in it. And former Mayor Sally Rinker signed the open space program addendum, which is, there, if there is a, the Greenway, Pochuck Mountain Greenway was included in it. Now, they didn't put, excuse me, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I was not on the council till December of 2010. It's January. Uh, let me finish speaking. No. You had your chance. Uh, um, the, uh, whether the mayor was in favor of it or not, it's in there. The purchase of, of the Green, Pochuck Mountain Greenway is in there. And it plainly spells out to purchase Camp Sussex. I didn't make a determination of whether I want to purchase this or not because we don't have the information in front of us to make a decision on. So, go ahead, you could start talking. Go ahead, say anything you want. Just a, now you can sit down, you're done talking. Okay, motion to adjourn. Move.